welcome to another episode of Secret Life of a Cam Girl. I am Noah Bensi, if you don't already know me. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying, um, a new hairdo today. And, um, if you don't like it, deal with it because I feel like some type of exotic bird. So today's video is actually going to be a two-parter for our New Girls series. I don't know if I already said that already. I don't think I did. So technically it's going to be the second and third video to the series. But yeah, we're going to talk all about branding and social media. So if you're interested in all that shiznizzle, um, stay tuned. So our last video we talked all about cam supplies and kind of like what you would need to get started. But now it's time to discuss your cam persona, which is almost if not more, if not equally as important. Last season on Secret Life in my video 10 things I learned in 3 years, I briefly talked about this subject, but now it's time to dive in deeper because a few of you were like, what do you mean? Finding your cam persona is all about finding your core and what makes you authentic. Your persona is what you will base your cam life around, like your aesthetic. But this choice to be a cam model, porn star, whatever, even a vanilla model, may inspire you to try something new. Or add something different to your personality, which is fine. But lying and experimenting are two different things. Maintaining lies can ruin relationships with future, long-term fans and friends. So think big picture when inspiration bites. Here's a true story and an example of what not to do. So when I first started camming, I met this girl on Twitter and she was like one of the only people that was receptive to giving me advice. She marketed herself as like a super girly, bottle, blonde, 90s, anal queen. She also told me that I should do anal. Now, nothing against anal. I told her that really just like wasn't my thing. But she snaps back and goes, oh, it's not my thing either. I just do it for cam. I'll teach you how to fake it. It's all about angles. But look, this was four years ago. I was brand new. And you know what? At first I was like, cool, I guess. All right. She also told me that I should watch her live and like see like her make money and stuff. So I watched her live and I thought about it and after some reflection, I kind of realized that lying about something like that where it becomes your label honestly becomes a burden. Or just guys in her room like the whole time like making her put things in her butt and like just it just was very booty obsessed. And I mean, maybe that's what she wanted, but I feel like now looking back, like obviously a better choice to make when you're camming is to pick something that is you where you can just like hang out and like feel comfortable and not have to constantly be doing something sexual. You know what I mean? So, like, even if whatever you're doing seems lucrative, it's, like, a lot of work to maintain that lie, to deal with it. And, I mean, why deal with it when Cam can be more fun? And that girl ended up prolapsing her ass and quitting Cam forever. And, oh, my God, let's not talk about this. Not my story to tell. Chapter two, move on. Fuck. Oh my god, it's not even funny. 
So experiment. Have fun. Be open. Be safe. But for yourself, for your fans, and your booty hole's sake, don't lie. So now, once you choose the personality points that you want to highlight, it's time to start branding. And I'm going to link a short video about branding below by Marie Florio. So if you want to check that out, go right ahead and watch it probably right now and come back. If you didn't check that out, it's super briefly um, just about a clothing company and how they're doing super, super well. So yes, I know it's about a t-shirt company and you're a person, but in the world of marketing, it's not that different. And here's why. So Marie's first tip is about being real. We kind of already know what that is, but being real isn't only just about being real. It's about being relatable. You want new fans and friends to trust and associate with you. No, like, trust. But how does a model profit from transparency? A really, really easy example is to think about beauty bloggers. Ten years ago, people used to lie about having bad skin or that it was all their real hair. I remember being in middle school and watching like late night info proactive commercials and being in awe that like celebrities were humans too and that they get pimples. And now in 2018 you see men and women everywhere making a living off of their journey with bad skin or alpecia or wearing wigs or just being them. No shame. So, don't come into this profession with shame. There is nothing about you that is shameful. You're perfect. Use your quirks, uniqueness, your struggle to attract not only other people in the industry as friends, but customers too. And most of all, businesses. But before you make money off of your amazing self, you need a platform. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give me a, a thumbs up if you did. And comment below if you have anything you want to add. And uh, yeah, share pretty please. It really helps this channel out a lot. Um, obviously because we talk about not very YouTube friendly things. It's kind of hard to grow. So help this little channel grow. Namaste. I love you. Have a wonderful day. And um, yeah. If you're interested in social media, Ishnai. Love you.